Stay. Say hi, Bogue. Today, we are starting the process of winterizing the garden. So, I thought this was a perfect way to introduce you guys to the Bogestead. I'm out here in the garden and I've got to get up the carrots and the beets. Ugh. We've typically just done a raised bed. We did a spring garden two years ago and didn't have a lot of great luck with stuff. And I had honestly just kind of given up. <laughs> um, I just, I just kept saying, this is hard. I'm not any good at it. I'm never going to learn. I have, oh, look at that. I have a, <laughs> I have a black thumb. <laughs> and so I had kind of just given up on the whole process. And funny enough, God has a funny way of like poking you and kind of saying, hey, listen up. This is what I made you for. You just have to be willing to like pay attention and listen, right? And uh, this past spring, we were kind of tossing back the idea back and forth. Are we gonna do a garden? Are we not? Um, previously, the garden was really just a small little rectangular square. And we came out here one day, uh, my husband and I, Justin, you'll see him, that was him earlier that peeked on. He's not a big camera guy, but you'll see him once in a while. Uh, but anyway, we came out here and we were talking about it and we looked and we were like, what is that growing over there? And lo and behold, we had some volunteers. <laughs> Two, no, three cantaloupe vines that had started. And what was so crazy is that we had planted them the year before and didn't have didn't have much luck with them, to be honest. Uh, okay, they didn't. Okay, they didn't come up or anything. Well, I guess they overwintered themselves and they came back. And it was crazy because this is Ella. Can you say hi? Hi. They didn't see you on camera. I gotta look at the camera. There's Ella. Can you tell them how old you are? Six. She's six. Um, you want me to help? Uh, yeah. You gotta grab it. So you're gonna kind of dig a little bit down by it until you can grab. Look, look right here. So you can grab part of the carrot and then you're gonna pull straight up. Straight up. Ella, do you love the garden? Yeah. What's your favorite part about the garden? Pulling the stuff. Pulling the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, can you get to it? Can you pull it? So you're gonna grab this part. This is called the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Just grab one and pull it straight up. So that happened with the cantaloupe and it gave us like, it was kind of late in the spring, summer, spring, summer-ish. And I was like, I don't know if we can still plant stuff. I had never looked at a fall garden before. Didn't know if it was possible. And so I started doing research and I went to YouTube and Pinterest. Oh, this is hard. And lo and behold, a fall garden is totally doable. <laughs> that was kind of a moment where we said yes to the possibilities and it has opened up since then an array of opportunity and bountiful lessons and harvest. And our zone is 7B, if you're wondering zone-wise. Uh, so shake it a little bit? Yeah, if you kind of wiggle it back and forth. Because see, all these are like little roots yeah. in the ground, and you've got to pull those up. We kind of went full force, and we planted watermelon and squash. Carrots. Carrots. We ended up getting so many beautiful, amazing cantaloupe from those volunteers. Good job. Um, and... Here we are. Uh, I've also got a little raised bed over there and it really kind of ignited our continued excitement and love for 
the garden, especially my love, I really stopped, it made me really stop telling myself the lie that I couldn't do it and that it was too hard and I would never learn because I didn't learn as a kid. I don't come from this a line. Fine. Yep, we'll get the rest. See, mommy did it too. Sometimes they break. <laughs> I come from, I don't come from a line of gardeners. I don't come from a line of farming, but I have a pull and an excitement in my heart to grow bounty and harvest. And I'm gonna be really honest and get super philosophical here, but there's so many life lessons as a gardener. And there's so many things that we can learn yeah. as we garden. And so much of life is... This is fine. Yeah, we'll get the rest of it. So much of life in general parallels to gardening. And it's kind of, this has been kind of the gateway drug in into hog. what we have discovered and have decided is gonna be our homestead. And eventually that vision and that dream that we've kind of casted out into the universe. Can you do it, get it? Y'all get it, baby. Is to include one day more farm animals. And we, oh look, there's a little butterfly. Mm -hmm. And we already currently have chickens. We have 10 chickens. <laughs> kind of wiggle it see and it'll come out oh, so yeah grab it by the shoulder it pulls straight up yep that's good if we just make a decision and so that's kind of where the YouTube dream has sprouted from and stemmed from and I have a passion and a just a drive to share how it's possible, how you don't have to have all this knowledge, how you don't have to be an expert to be able to do something that has been placed on your heart or for something that you're passionate about and that you're excited about. And that if you just have the want to and the will to and the excitement to, that it's totally possible. And so that's what this journey on the Bogestead is about. So I'm Tabitha, I'm the mom, this is Ella, she's the kid. We also have Lily, the other kid. Lily, how old are you? Four. Four. What's your favorite part of gardening? Um, picking. Picking? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Did you get it? Let me see. Woo! Okay, go put it in the, in the bucket. Yeah. Oh, go pick it up. You can't put it on the ground. You gotta put it in the bucket. We've got Chief the dog, Shrimp the cat, chickens, and a daddy. Yeah. Justin the daddy. And we are here in our bogestead, casting vision, sharing our dream, sharing our troubles, sharing our victories and our triumphs and, and trips, and, trips. <laughs> and just taking you guys along for the ride. And hopefully we can find some friendship and some camaraderie and maybe learn a thing or two from each other. I can teach you, I hope. I hope you can teach me something and we can go on this journey in the dirt, getting dirty, and doing the things. Yeah? So, come on and join us. I'm Mondo, so I'm on the